recipe and we're here doing an oyster dive for Lynette and Lynette chose our sterling silver swirl ring super pretty so that's um, where we're gonna set the pearl and let's dive right into her freshwater oyster and see what kind of pearl we get so freshwater pearls vary in shape color and size no two are alike I'll show you her oyster here in just a second There's our oyster. He's already missing some pieces there, but that's okay. He's got a whole bunch of seaweed on the back. Tons and tons of seaweed. Look at all that. Cool stripes there. I always think the oysters are really cool looking. Big old stripes across the front or the back. I don't know how you want to look at that, but all right. Let's see if we're, yep, we're already smiling. See? So we're going to open them up. I'm so sorry, guys. So sorry. We have five dogs and two children. So my kiddos are three and 18 months. So no matter how much I hope that they're quiet when I do this, one's at least asleep, or at least he was. Okay. So once I can open our fresh water pearl, come on. I actually like it when they're stingy. They're usually really, really pretty pearls when the oyster's cranky and not letting me in. It might take some extra work, but that's okay. Yeah, he's just not having it. Now I moved my board and everything, so let's see if we can get in there. There we go. I tried to not break the oysters so bad, because look how pretty and shiny they are inside. This is what one looks like if it's if I don't break it open like crazy. That's why I always try to open them kind of nice. They're super beautiful. That's the mother of pearl right there. It said to help determine the color of your pearl which is gorgeous and shiny let's see what color it is so pretty i love this ring setting and there's nothing else in there okay so there's our pearl if you can see it sorry if i got off screen a little bit it's hard to watch opening the oyster and, and the screen but let me get him cleaned off get some salt here Super, super shiny. I know I'm in my kitchen, and it's, even though I have a skylight, it's too dark in here to see, so I had to turn the light on, which is going to distort our color just a little bit and give us lots of shadows, but that's okay. Well, let's measure him before we get them all covered in salt. It's exactly a six millimeter. Super pretty. It looks pinky peach to me. Let's see what you can tell better when it's up against the, the salt. Oops. And then now it's flying all over the place. Well, it's pink and peach. And it's hiding. There we go. Sorry about that. Oysters fighting with me. Now the pearl's running away. Goodness. Gorgeous. This is going to look so pretty. It's going to be kind of hard to show you exactly what it would look like without because the prongs in the way. But essentially, yeah, it's not going to happen. We'll put it right on there. So pretty. Congratulations, Lynette. It is gorgeous. Enjoy your pinky peach pearl. Super pretty, and I can see where we're going to drill them. A lot of times, this is actually kind of cool to show you because I think you can see it on the camera. Do you see that little dimple right there? It's, an, it's a naturally occur, occurring dimple or a belly button that happens. So that's exactly where I'll drill him, and that way you won't see it. Very cool. Thanks for watching.